Welcome back, everybody. Indeed. Indeed. Sigil Confidential is live again. <laughs> All right. So sorry for the delay there. We're working out some uh, some uh, narrative logistics. All good stuff um, to make the experience better for everybody. <laughs> so that said... Uh, I believe when last we left off, we were actually at the Stapleton HQ, uh, the detective house, Zill's house, uh, as it were. Uh, Jimmy had just laid down for a long winter's nap. The snoring is even weirder because he normally doesn't breathe. <laughs> Makes you wonder if he's really sleeping. So, uh, the rest of you are mulling around. Kong is curled up by the fire next to uh, Pohan. Um, I know there was a little bit of arguing and infighting there for a bit. Um, everyone's very nervous and on edge about this new player on the field, the angler, and what he's already had taken from you, and the, the strange shenanigans that that poor mule almond milk has been getting up to. Um, strange, strange shenanigans indeed. So we will pick up from there. What is everyone doing? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, while everyone's just muling about, uh, the, uh, Persona known as Leah is going to speak up and say, uh, well, while we're all just sitting around, um, how's everyone's appetites? If there's any ingredients or a kitchen in the house, if you want, I can cook some meals for everyone so we can all have a bite on our stomach. God. You notice Pohan has sat up quietly while you were speaking, is staring at you very happily. <laughs> is he the only one? I... I don't know if there is a kitchen. Huh. Um, in the upstairs? No. On the, the first floor? No. And no one is allowed down where Zill lives, so you're not sure if there's one down there. So no kitchen, huh? I don't actually live here, so I'm not sure. Unfortunately, those that actually live here would be Jimmy, who's sleeping, Kong, who's sleeping. Thank you for punctuating my, my response, Jimmy. I appreciate you backing me up even while sleeping. Good wingman. Uh, anybody else know? What about Zill? Zill would know. Where's Zill? I'm going to go and just like walk over and like knock something off the shelf and see what happens. You, you, you hear Pohan kind of <clears throat> behind you. Um, Draken. I know it's easy oh. to forget that I actually do speak, but no, there is not such a facility on this premises currently. Not one that you would be permitted to make use of at this time. I apologize, Pohan. Hmm. And I'm sorry for knocking something over to see if that would summon Zill. Oh, I no. apologize for that as well. Well, I mean, if you want to knock some more stuff over, sometimes it's funny that whoever that is that lives with him down there tends to get a little anxious. I knock something else over. You're very muffled downstairs, you hear. I'm sorry, it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, you're right, Pohan, that is amusing. <laughs> so... As you guys are mulling about trying to figure out a way to get a, a home-cooked meal as opposed to the usual takeaway, um, you hear a very quick but loud rapping upon the door downstairs. Crack, 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 crack. 
I'm glad you clarified because I was like, this is a story all about how I let go of side down. <laughs> we didn't need that drama, okay? Yeah. Oh, we always need that drama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Philadelphia. <laughs> and now I'm singing the song. Thank you. Sorry, right. we'll have to write the, the, the Planescape version. <laughs> You're welcome. So yeah, the, somebody's knocking on the door. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna do this just for fun. Do 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jimmy. Yeah. You're awakened by the the uh, pounding on the door. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh. Crack, 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 Anybody crack, gonna crack, get crack, that? Crack. Ah, no, hell, I'll crack, get that. Crack, crack. If it's the fucking mule, though. <laughs> Jimmy gets up out of his chair. He scratches his head and kind of puts his bowler back in its proper place and he walks down. Alright. Do you open the door? Yes, there is. There's no more caution here. We're not checking out the window. Who's here? It explodes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, standing before you is a small goblinoid creature. Um, one ear is kind of clipped. Uh, he's got little beady reddish and black eyes, and uh, he's wearing like a workman's apron and gloves and a heavy boots. He's kind of looking up at you, impatiently tapping his foot. He, he goes, You're the, you the boss. Uh, yes. What's the news, bud? Uh, yeah, look, uh, they, uh, we, we, we finished uh, fixing up the, the place to the, the Vickle, Vick, uh, Vick, Vickle, Vick, Vickle Tongue. Vickle Tongue. Yeah, we fixed it. You should, uh, you should come see. Good. All right, finally some good news. Good. So, uh, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I did good. Yeah. Mm hmm. You I done did, great. I did good. Done great. I did good. In fact, Jimmy's fishing around his pockets. Mm, yes. He, he finds five gold. He says, Tip just for you, bud. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, boss. See you there. Turns off and trots See away. <laughs> Let me mark that five gold off real fast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that being said, Jimmy would return upstairs before leaving. Okay. Right, this is my money. <laughs> there it is, found it. It's all gone. <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy walks back up, and he's stretching a little bit. He hasn't been out long, but it's still the most he's slept in months. Yeah, he probably needed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, very much so. Does, well, the crew's finished up down at the Wickle Tongue, and I've been, I've been feeling a touch dry lately. I don't know about all of you. Hmm. Best I'm sure if we head down, a few batches have escaped the fire. Yeah, why not? Ah. Jimmy's patting his chest. He's feeling better. About Kong is sleeping peacefully. All is right with the world apart from our impending dooms. Hmm. Yes, the angler. Mm. That's still there. He's still a thing. We should all be terrified. I have chosen to not worry about that guy. And even though I don't drink, for some reason I'll join you too. It's the wiggle tongue. It's the wickle tongue. It's a I social don't drink event. and I go. <laughs> it's it's the wickle tongue. We've carefully built a pleasant ambiance there in the lounge. Fun for all. 
And it's yours. Leah, <laughs> you're welcome to accompany us. I'm sure we've much to discuss. Though, of course, if, should your uh, employer care to put in an appearance, this would also be welcome. Uh, sure, I'll come along, too. All right, let's... Everybody get your stuff. I'm going to go grab mine. Jimmy's walking off towards his room. All right. So, the general rules everyone's going, or? Leave Kong to sleep and hold down the fort? Really, Pohan, but whoever asks, we tell them it's their job. All right. Yeah, sure. You're in charge. Uh, Jimmy, I think I'm going to go along. You don't mind, All do you? right. No, no. Come on down. You need to get out the house sometimes. I say, you don't have one of those, like, no foos allowed signs or anything, do you? Perish the thought. <laughs> Perish the thought. I had Bell keep a keep a bowl behind the bar in case you ever care to partake. Oh, of course. Well, we better get going. <laughs> I'm parched. So with that so Jimmy's said, gone and grabbed his stuff. All right. So we'll we'll expedite this just a bit. The uh, the trek, as it were, to uh, to the Wickham Tunnel. Yeah. Now we we've discussed its location before. It's not terribly far away from from where you're at now. It's a very short walk. Um, <laughs> Kong snores loudly and rolls over as you leave. Uh, you make your way out, and the uh, the roads are a little bit misty, a little bit dark, but fairly devoid of traffic for a change. It's just not very busy out, but nothing terrible happens either, which is always a nice change. Um, and by the time you reach the Wickle Tongue, you're feeling a little bit better about things as it were <laughs> a little bit better about things so you enter the door uh, it's a simple wooden and door then you die. <laughs> then you die everyone dies <laughs> so you enter the door it's a simple wooden door um, it uh, leads into a, a foyer torchlit foyer and on into the main lounge from there. Uh, as you walk in, you hear a familiar whistle, the <laughs> and then an almost pre-recorded voice from behind the bar, a rather flamboyant kinku stands back there and says, here's Jimmy. Jimmy. Gives a theatrical wave for a moment, a big rolling one. So Bell, my good man. Lovely to see you. Please, I gotta do some business, but get everybody set up. Oh, uh, well, it's your place. Drinks are on the house, or are you charging? Oh, uh, just bill it to me. You know how it is. We gotta keep in good. Hmm. That was Margaret Morningstar who popped up, by the way. Or morning fall. See, I'm getting her name mixed up now. <laughs> That's my bad. Uh, no, tomorrow, I say. Yeah, put put it on mine. Put it on mine. We got to keep the books right, at least for ourselves, you know. No, oh. you don't want to make anguish mad. You know how she gets. <laughs> yeah, that would be a, a rough day. We might get a little hellfire in the back room. Well, uh, it's your place, Jimmy. Sit wherever you like, and she meanders off towards the back. Uh, to, to the rest of the party, Jimmy says, grab you some seats. I gotta go inspect the repairs, but I'll come back around. So you guys should all have control over your tokens. Feel free to move them about wherever you want to go. Also, side note, I don't believe Nelios is with us. He went with us um, when last we were oh, here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually didn't throw a game out. 
he's off information gathering still. All right. So Jimmy heads to the back, where a very stern-looking young tiefling lady immediately spins on her heel as you enter and say, "Excuse me, employees only." Oh, oh, boss, it's you. Sorry. <laughs> I think I count, Ange. Uh, well, I've decided Jimmy calls her Ange. She'll take it. Well, Jimmy, boss or not, wash your hands. I will not have you contaminating my latest brew. Only fair. And I imagine we keep a wash basin near the door for this very purpose. Of course. Jimmy gives him a quick rinse off and says... Have they done the repairs up to your standards, Ange? Well, as good as could be expected on your budget, boss, but it'll do. Well, your word's good enough for me, but just to put in my face, I better have a look around. Of course. Um, just watch out for Vat 2. It's special batch. She does the air quotes. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Rest in peace. <laughs> um, yeah, so you see a bunch of goblinoid workers similar to the one that, that came and delivered the message, bustling around. They're stoking the fires. They're stirring the pots. They're bottling. They're all the, the basic, you know, uh, tasks involved in distilling the wickle tongue spirit is, is just bustling around you. Um, Eng immediately starts walking by your side and giving you a full rundown report. Uh, numbers of barrels, uh, shipping already in play, uh, batches lost, employees lost. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, uh, how much uh, is left of raw stock as, as opposed to Stock that can be lost. Um, mm. she, Condition of the mash, all the various things. Oh, yeah. As well as uh, air purity, the employee mindset, and. <laughs> Deep professional, nigh corporate levels of attention. Oh, yeah. She's got clipboards on top of clipboards. <laughs> She's hot swapping the clipboards yeah. as we walk. Jimmy's paying attention, but there's no way on earth that he'll be able to do any better at this than, than she is. He's mostly listening because he knows she wants to tell him. Oh yeah. Well, as you're as you're moving through, you pass by these very large uh, barrels. Um, each one of these has a, a different label on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the first barrel is the farmer's wife. <laughs> the second barrel is Granny Green Tongue. Oh, yeah. uh, the uh, third barrel here is Grey Turn. Mm -hmm. And the fourth barrel is Phoebe's Surprise, otherwise known as the Special Batch. <laughs> uh. Glad these made it. It'd be a right pain to replace. Yeah. She says they're about half capacity at this point. We've managed to actually distill a good bit. Um, luckily, a lot of the the stock was not lost in the fire. Mm -hmm. um, back here is just, as usual, the distribution center. Most of this remained untouched. Uh, we've already got shipments going to and from most quadrants within the sector. Uh, the name is starting to get a little pull, especially since we started releasing our hallucinogenic brews. The sensates are going ballistic. Um, we can probably expect them to be de beating down the door anytime soon. I figured it'd be popular. I figured it'd be popular. We'll have to look in to make sure we can keep a good flow of the Dream Lily. That stuff can be... A little harder to source than most of our raws. Well, I've got a couple lines on some good s s sources, uh, as well as some other potential equivalents that might be easier and cheaper. But we'll go through and we'll do some testing. Um, 
Yeah. See what you think. Need some test brews. The original, it's it's a p- bit of a powerful, uh, powerful draft on that. Uh, if you like keeping some of your wits about you, it may not be to your taste. Uh, I've got some ideas. It's sensates. I've got so. some ideas for some for some potential new stock as well that I'll run by you when we get a chance. Do you want me to send out a sampler right. platter for you and your friends? Yeah, let's let's have a grand tour of the palette. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, go make yourself a home. I'll uh, I'll get a couple sampler platters sent out. All right. And in addition, I'd like this to have taken a few minutes so everybody has a chance to like talk amongst themselves in the absence of Jimmy and get sorted out there. Yeah, yeah. We can go back and just say that Jimmy and. Anguish are going over some of the finer financial details that would be really boring to talk about on stream. <laughs> and uh, while they're doing that, uh, I see everyone's kind of taking seats, spread out a bit. What's the the rest of you doing? I'm going to pull on come over by the, the big fire here. A taco. <laughs> You're ordering a taco? No, I. <laughs> I'm really old. Uh, slang term that I haven't used since high school, just for awkward. Oh, nice. Uh, awkward silence. But uh, yeah, Leah, in air quotes, is just kind of sitting awkwardly, silently, in a little chair over by the opposite fireplace. Is Pavan? <laughs> oh. Nice. Uh, I see uh, over there with uh, with Nell. Looks like Nell settled yeah. over there with you. Um, and just to point out for those of you who this may be prevalent to, real quick as well, uh, this statue here, if you can see where I'm painting, mm-hmm. is actually a statue of Stapleton. Um, this portrait on the wall here at the end of the bar. With the candle on either side is a portrait of Maury. And this effigy on the mantle is a small statue of Maury as well. Those did survive. I'll just be over here trying not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anybody else doing anything? I'm ordering water. All right. Well, as you guys are Probably sitting, doing the same. As, as you guys are sitting awkward and drinking water in a bar, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple goblinoids come out from the back um, with a large tray covered with uh, small shot glasses. Uh, one is set before you, Master. One is set at the table with Leah and Nil, and one is set by Draken. And the, the goblin actually points at you, Draken, he goes, Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah. Don't forget the dog. And he walks off. <laughs> Aw, I appreciate your concern for him. <laughs> what would you like, Pohan? Uh, Looks like we got a sampler. Uh, Pawn comes and said he's actually like towering over the bar. He's actually still pretty big. Uh, <laughs> uh, he kind of sniffs around, grabs one of the shot glasses between his teeth and kicks it back, and then sets it gingerly back down on the platter. Goes, <laughs> mm, not bad. <laughs> I move that shot glass out of the way so nobody else grabs it. <laughs> so, Lee is going to ask, oh, uh, well, what's on the platter? What do we have to sample? Uh, there are 12 shots on the, on the platter um, from four different apparent brews. The, the, the placards on there are the farmer's wife, 
Gray Turn, Granny Green Tongue, and Phoebe's Special Blend. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Well, Lee is probably going to reach for the farmer's life first and try it. Knock it back. All right. So you, you hit it back. First thing, give me a just a, a con save. Don't worry, it's nothing crazy. All right. Wife, gray tongue. What's the third one? Granny green tongue. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. It went down remarkably smooth. Like you just felt it just slide right down your esophagus, warmed your belly, felt real nice. It had a nice, uh, almost, if petrichor had a flavor, if you're familiar with the term, if petrichor had a flavor, that would be it. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Nils just watching you like Alright If there is a straw in this water I'm spinning it around A straw in the water <laughs> There's a straw but it's not for drinking through It's literally just a piece of straw <laughs> Alright <laughs> It's there for freshness <laughs> it's a, a freshness straw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, like a freshness lemon, lemon. Water, except it's a piece of yeah. straw. It's, yeah, it's like a freshness lemon, only we're not persnickety, you know? <laughs> Lemons are too expensive. Do you know what it takes to get a lemon in sigil? Could be maybe yeah. lemon, maybe lemon grass. <laughs> I mean, there, there you go. there's like a plate of lemons. We just got to find the door to there. <laughs> mm hmm. Maybe somewhere in yeah, the Feywild, wild, but you know. <laughs> um, actually, that's Land the Frey wild <laughs> you hear from across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta correct you on that one. It's the Frey wild. That was out of character, just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> if you had said it in character, we definitely would have. We're trying to make this a thing. <laughs> the Frey wild. So. <laughs> Jimmy makes his way back to the main room. Details ironed out. Uh, security looked at through the side entrances. He may pay some artificer of some kind to give it a once over and build in some better systems. But he has returned. He looks around and sees everybody miles apart. Oops. <laughs> Were we supposed to sit together, or...? Well, I did mean at one table, but... <laughs> maybe I'm just social like that. Hey, I'll move. You know me. I, dark corner. Definitely a fan. I think everyone's a little awkward after everything that's gone down, like, between Master and Nil, and then Nil and Draken, and then Leah. And air quotes, who just isn't really comfortable around everyone yet. So everyone's just spread out. <laughs> was, was definitely was definitely trying to avoid sitting at the table with them at the moment. Uh, that's fine. You can all sit at the same table. That's fine. Jimmy calls to Drake and from across the room. He's waving you over. Alrighty, I. Pick up the tray of shots and walk over with it. Come on, Bohan. Very good. All right, Bohan, beat me over there. He's already over there. <laughs> yeah, so I'll probably try uh, Phoebe's next. Phoebe's special. All right. Jimmy it. sees your hand out over the platter and he says, now, it's important to know. <laughs> he starts pointing. 
This one's good luck. This one's bad luck. This one's for seeing things that aren't there, and this one's for not seeing things that are there. <laughs> he spins the tray and picks one at random. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, well, hey, roll D4. Let's see what you get. <laughs> hey. Excellent. All right. You hold a toast or just kick it back? Oh, he's just kicking it back. He he knows that there's a decent number of non-drinkers here amongst the group, so he won't make them toast. All right. Well, for you, this slides down smooth, and it's ironically, and you've forgotten. You've probably had the the Phoebe special before, but in your state. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that you feel alcohol like you would normally, right? Mm -hmm. That advantage on poisons. This takes you back. It makes you nostalgic. It's like taking a shot for the first time when you're 15 years old, sneaking into the parents' liquor cabinet. Uh, he, his head stays tilted back for a second, and he like <laughs> his shoulders twitch. Ah, uh, that's. Might feel that later. That'll be interesting. <laughs> I just kind of gingerly put my shot back. Leah doesn't want to <laughs> be taken out. <laughs> she likes to keep her wits about her. Yeah. She likes to drink, but likes to keep her wits about her. So she doesn't drink much. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, these will all do different things. So, <laughs> so one shot is enough for her for the night. <laughs> uh, yeah, you nailed that one down. Anyone else having a drink? No. Just I'm drinking my water. Uh, Pohan will snag another stays one. Stays on it. <laughs> Grab it between his teeth. Kick it back. Set it down. <laughs> Ooh. He's got a couple centuries on all of us. He can he can hold his own. <laughs> I might get a bowl of the granny green tongue. That's pretty good. He you gotta pace yourself. He looks over at uh, at Leah, and kind of winks, and says, "Tastes like children." <laughs> Not supposed to. We just can't get it to go away. <laughs> <laughs> Pohan can't hold it in. He starts laughing. He's I'm joking. <laughs> uh, before he uh, stated that he was joking, like Leah kind of like raised an eyebrow at Pohan and just gave him like a really inquisitive but interested look. <laughs> Yeah, Pohan, he can't keep a straight face. He's not a poker player. <laughs> he knows the story about Granny Green Tongue. He couldn't resist. <laughs> the master eyes the talking dog and looks into the middle distance and thinks about a talking mule for about five seconds. Then shrugs. Oh, misty it's a, eyes. It's a, it's a coincidence. I'm sure of it. Not all talking animals are evil. I'm pretty sure Master knew Pohan could talk, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're familiar yeah, but, with Pohan. Yeah, but floating, okay. talking, all kinds of... Master's just scarred. It, it could speak. I mean, we watched... We watched the entire Fast and Furious franchise together. And not one word. You know? Like, at all. We watched the Star Wars trilogy together. <laughs> and not a word. Only in sigil. <laughs> now, now, don't take that too personal. Let's not even I'm get into sure it. if almond just, milk could talk. Can I just drastically, like, take both one and three in succession? Yes. Yeah. One and three in succession. Foam, foam. Give me, uh, yeah, give me two con checks. 
<laughs> okay. Uh. All right. <laughs> Seven and twelve. So you, you kick back the first one, and within a, a span of about three seconds, you feel like you've just burst out of the ground experienced freedom for the first time in your life, saw the very first sunrise mankind ever saw, and then stepped into the first gentle rainstorm in history and let everything wash over you, through you, and away. Three seconds pass, you take a deep breath, and you feel cleansed. You ready for your next one? <laughs> Am I? I don't know. Not sure. Neil's just like, whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> like, is this the first time like, anyone's ever seen Master Drink? Probably. <laughs> Neil raises a single finger and then puts it back down. So your your third, your number three shot, your second shot hits. Mm -hmm. Um. This one is a little different. <laughs> Here we go. This one is, is almost like as you're feeling this kind of blissful high, it's like a storm cloud just dumps on your whole parade. <laughs> oh. It, it kind of sends you back to where you were before. <laughs> nice. All things are as they should be. <laughs> Back in depression. <laughs> you know, there's a reason I've been in, in winter winter aspect this entire time, right? Like, I don't talk about it, but nobody knows how old I am, okay? Like, they missed your birthday. <laughs> nobody knows how old I am. Nobody knows a lot of things about me. So... I've been meaning to ask you, says Pohan. Did your parents? I always got the did your parents name that you if master? I asked, you'd stab me. <laughs> did your parents name you the master, or is this something you picked up along the way? Because that would just be a very odd thing to call your child. I mean, I, I've seen some parents who probably feel that way, but I've always wondered. Uh -huh. So, he kicks back yeah, another this shot. Is the bottom of <laughs> this is the bottom of shot glass number three. Like. <laughs> And then looks at Pohan. Am I being drunk at the table by a dog? Grabs another one. Doesn't even look. Just takes it. <laughs> oh, oh don't, fun. Master, don't try and race him. <laughs> let's, let's have a D4. This is getting interesting. Tell me how to live my life. <laughs> so ah, hell. Jimmy goes out. He reaches for another. <laughs> oh, excellent. Excellent. Oh, no. <laughs> excellent. Jimmy offers his reading. Now, you see, you've already stacked up good luck in the abandonment of illusions. You add illusions back in, oh, you're going to be a mess. Let's, uh, let's get an intelligence save. For, for old number four. Where he goes. That's a fail. Lovely. That's a fail. Lovely. That's a fail. So you okay. kick it back. And you feel your whole body just stiffen. Just and you, you can't move. And you can't hear your heartbeat anymore. And you can't breathe. And everything just goes dark. You are alone. The sound cuts off entirely. You feel completely cut off from everything around you. Centuries pass in your mind. And then you sneeze and kind of snap out of it. You're feeling a, you're feeling very buzzed right now. Out of character, is that what happened to Jimmy? Back in the old pre-cataclysm cared. <laughs> we might have built it for a certain effect. <laughs> that was the oh, Phoebe special. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Jimmy's waving a hand in front of you. He says, this happens like one in five times. <laughs> that's, the, that's the special brew. Yeah, right there. Real popular right now. What? 
Yeah, Pohan kind of leans over and goes, It's made with real goblins. Bye. Bye, real goblins. Freaking dogs, no dogs. Masters sway in just a little bit. <laughs> fine. It's fine. Master, I'll trade you. Jimmy is. Let's see what he actually got on his second pull. Uh, this is fun. Oh, the green tongue. Uh, no, this is actually the gray turn. You got the gray turn. Oh, three is the gray turn. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Three is the gray turn. You're. Uh, um, unfortunately for you and your state, though, it it doesn't really do very much. Just goes down. Just goes Has down. A taste. It, it's kind of bitter. This is a very bitter, bitter one. It's got a little rainwater taste to it. And yeah, it's just like, mm. Yeah. Taste. But the warmth is pleasant. And, and for you, especially being able to experience these without getting the full impact to the head, mm -hmm. and you also having played a part in the distilling process to some degree, are aware that these reflect certain aspects of your past. Gray turn being a very bitter experience for you, it makes sense. That it would have a bitter taste. <laughs> Jimmy likes to think it makes him a better assistant uh, brewmaster, that he can sample as much as he likes and it won't destroy his ability to taste. But that might just be the ego. Who knows if he's any good yet? <laughs> this is true. But he says, all right, master, I'll trade you. How old you are, how old I am. That's one to think on. He reaches into a pocket that you didn't know exists and... Bell of second shot! Bell of second shot! <laughs> <laughs> As if he has a death wish, just grabs the second one and... The number two? Is that what you're going for? I have heard. This one's the bad one. Let's Running the gamut. You know that nearly killed us the first time. She's going for the, for he in this particular case. The, the, the master mm -hmm. is going for the granny green top. That's the third one. I've done three. Oh, the gray turn is, is, is three. Gray turn hmm. is three. Farmer's wife is one. <laughs> and BB special is four. Tongue is two. Yeah, nobody's done the green tongue yet. All right. BB's is four. I had them mislabeled <laughs> because I wrote them in the order that they were said instead of. Okay, I don't know. Sorry, nobody's done the green tongue yet. This will be a unique one. Uh, let's see. <laughs> What's the save? Charisma. Charisma. <gasps> it's charisma. 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 I knew it. Charisma. Oh, this is great. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh nice. smooth, smooth. How set. about that? Oh, oh. You cake it back. Oh. You kind of, it, it's, it's, it, it tastes like sour apple. Um, mm. you kind of shake a little bit. You're, you, the buzz is starting to get you. Like you're swaying and kind of smacking your lips. You, you feel like you could probably use a little water. <laughs> But you're hanging in there. Mm. Mm, yeah. Excuse. Uh, Excuse. 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 Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just grabs the cup from Neil's hand. Neil's like. <laughs> starts to say something and doesn't say it. <laughs> he probably needs it more right now. We'll get you another. Jimmy waves towards the bar and signals for a water. To, to Bell. Straw. Big Bell looks over and kind of waves and winks and goes, gives you the thumbs up, grabs a, a water, hands it to Margaret. Margaret brings it over. So. Thanks, Mark. Uh, no worries. Who's, who's the, the virgin drink here for? 
Oh, it's a replacement. We've had a little shuffling around to help backfill the uh, uh, run in the gamut that Master's just done. Oh, well, which one of you fine people ordered the, uh, the virgin moonshine? <laughs> Jimmy waves his hand down. He does a little sort of gesture over to Nil. Oh. Here you go, dear. Um, thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks. Anything? Uh, anybody else need anything? Anything? It might be a good idea to get some bread for the table. Bread? Yeah, we can do that. No problem. Uh, it'll help keep it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you sorted. The master's just holding a piece of straw and looking at it like, what? <laughs> Anybody else ridden. feel like we've been moving for the last month? Hay in the water? <laughs> last month? We've been moving for a hell of a lot longer than that, Jimmy. Yeah, I guess you're right. God, I haven't even thought about it much since we've been in Sigil, but now I can feel it in my bones. So she disappears into the back, comes back a few minutes later with a platter of about four, not necessarily fresh, but not stale either, loaves of bread. This isn't really a, you know, place to eat so much as just a place to drink, but, you know, they keep some food around. Yeah, you got to keep stomach settled so that they can fit more of the wickle tongue. Eating while drinking is being responsible. <laughs> <laughs> true. Very true. So Leah's going to reach out to the basket and get a half a loaf of that bread and start uh, sort of munching it. <laughs> All right. Munching Jimmy's away. Jimmy's taken another shot of the one, but he's just kind of sipping it. All right. For flavor, keeping the flavor on his tongue. Well, the one won't be quite so bad uh, for you. It, it, it's, oh, yeah. it's probably out of the four of them, the most flavorful and refreshing of them. Like I said, it, if Petricor had a flavor. <laughs> Jimmy likes the, the peat taste. It's no problem for him. Leah certainly enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Still a little, a little weird to think about home. It was not quite, uh, not quite a good, not quite a bad feeling. We saw the somewhat darker version. Yeah, you guys didn't really tell me very much about that. It sounded like you did not have a good time with this. What was it? The angler? Is that what you said? The angler? Uh, I think we need another name. That one might be recognized a bit too broadly by people that... Well, quite frankly, anybody who actually knows the guy, I don't want to associate with him. Well, I mean... Pohan looks around. Aside from the people who work for you, we're the only ones here, Jimmy. I think you'd be all right. Oh, yeah. I mean, for less private discussions. Fair. What are we thinking? Long, dark, and spooky? <laughs> nah, too wordy. Fish face? Fish face. Fish face is good. Master, how do you feel about fish face? Jimmy leans over. Mm. Feels like a 43-year-old man trying not to cuss. You haven't quite guessed it, but us humans, we've got a more restricted range. So I'm sure you'll get it at some point. <laughs> uh, 
master's on point. You should drink more often. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you wish. <laughs> Master, I'm a food dog. I used to grant wishes. <laughs> this one is not what you think. What's not what I think? Tell your old buddy Popo what's on your mind. I think we're just going to continue to go with the life mantra of say less on this one. <laughs> Pohan kind of turns his head upside down and sideways and lays it on your shoulder and lets his tongue loll out while staring you in the eyes. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can manage to pretend that that's not adorable. <laughs> That's a fail. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> Good old Poe. Huh? <laughs> so what are you guys going to do, Jimmy? I'm kind of glad Kong's not here for this. The youngsters. Yeah, He's too naive and innocent to hear about this horrors. Innocent, I don't know about so much, but I'm glad he wasn't there. Can I do something for cosmetic reasons? Mm -hmm. Can I just, like, materialize some berries and start plink plinking them into the good cups? <laughs> Which ones are the good cups? The, uh, number one, the farmer's <laughs> wife. Just... Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I bet that'll add to the flavor. I bet it does. Master has casually invented the mixed drink. <laughs> now it's called <laughs> the Good Farmer's Wife. <laughs> 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 Nice. I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> you set it on fire. Call it the good wrath of the farmer's wife. <laughs> eh, we don't need fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would be the expert on that, wouldn't you? <laughs> We did burn right, down the original. Watch as the soap. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. We don't talk about what I burned down. There's too long a list. We'd be here for a while. As the yes, world suddenly burns. The, <laughs> suddenly the paragon of virtue and wise thinking. Yeah. Good. 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 Good, good boy. Good. Good. <laughs> Are, are you petting me? That would be weird. <laughs> Especially because I'm probably taller than you. I can... I can hop. Oh, but hilarious. in fairness, <laughs> if Master tries to deliver a head pat, who would not stoop? <laughs> this is not an opportunity to be missed. <laughs> Let's miss it. <laughs> as all sober, as one of the two sober people at this table, this is hilarious. <laughs> See, what did I tell you? It's going to help. You just gonna hear help. small squeaking sounds coming from the corner over here, like. <laughs> this is just. <laughs> I mean, Leah's Looking only down had one my drink. glass of water, like, <laughs> this is so stupid. Leah's only had one drink, and while she's not, <laughs> and while she can't take much, she's not exactly a featherweight either. <laughs> so. All the drinks are having weird effects. People's eyes are glazing. They're staring at nothing. I am the sober friend who's watching all the drunk fronts, and it is hilarious. 
It's always a pretty good job to have. I'll get you in a cab by the end of the night. You're okay. As if in Q, uh, Pohan lolls his big head over onto Leah's shoulder, lets his tongue hang out, and goes, ah, I like the drunk master. <laughs> Pohan, I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, Fishface, he's uh, he's got us by the short and curlies, and I'm not sure there's too many people in Sigil that could get out from under this one. I think maybe he's just gonna get whatever it is he wants. We're gonna play it as best we can, but as I have recently rediscovered. I can't run it the way the boss did. We're going to do our best. We're going to do what we have to. Well. I might have some ideas about that. Draken, I will take anything you say as gospel. We have been in one worse situation and you punched us directly out of it. Uh, we'll talk later, Jimmy. There, there are some ideas I want to run past you. Right. I'm going to use you as my as I refer to you. I designated adult to make sure I don't do anything I should. Uh, an honor I will work hard to uphold. Yes, uh, that is a conversation for later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, probably I'll do. I'll do some one-on-ones with everybody. I know it can be a little hard to talk about, so. Uh, frightening? We'll go with frightening. And occurrence. And I want to give everybody a chance to speak their piece. Okay. What the boss would have done. Uh, Nil, I don't, I don't know if I thanked you properly for coming along when, when we came to get you, get your help earlier. No problem. My, on, my only regret is the trouble with the mule. Uh, I was having a good time. He had to. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's get into this. I guess just roll my sleeves up and get into the talking mule that can fly suddenly. I didn't cast fly on the mule, did I? Cast fly on himself, damnedest thing. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that. Nah. It was a good show, but it wasn't, uh... You wouldn't want to stick around for it. It sucked. <laughs> From the back, kind of... Go on. From the back, kind of faintly, you hear Anguish shout, Ah, oh, crap, there goes another one. Uh, chalk another one up for the special batch, boys. <laughs> to develop a taste for it if we've got that much of it around. <laughs> really got to find a place to buy that stuff. <laughs> Jimmy's oddly calm. Given how stressed he seemed when before his little nap, and it it would seem to anybody present at the table that he's doing this on purpose. He's making himself be a certain way because the the booze is going to take. He could make it a decent way through the vat of the special before he gets to where Master's at now. <laughs> Mm 
I'm just patting my pockets. <laughs> yeah, awesome. And maybe. Oh, uh, okay. I reach into the back of my collar and pull out a, pull out a snake that is, was traveling down it, and I'm like, "Da!" <laughs> Jimmy peers. Why? The snake flies away. Also, why? <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't do that either. It's a weird jacket. It's a weird day. Like, like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's true. <laughs> I, I take out a, a miniature pair of bellows and a pipe, and I start making uh, smoke dragons with it. <laughs> like. Jimmy but pops his elbow on the table and props up his chin with his hand. I just kind of do a little puppet show with the dragons and they kind of disappear after like a minute. Just kind of... It is a weird day. You're right. It's getting better though. Getting weirder. <laughs> I'll take that. The snake flies back. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. Good. We needed... We needed... Wait. No, we didn't need a snake. Why did I think we needed a snake? <laughs> Master, why do you have a snake? Why don't you? Fair. I'm not much of a snake wrangler. They bite. Uh, I'm not sure what I would use it for. I have a hard time with anything whose heart beats faster than mine. That probably doesn't leave a lot of options, does it? Yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> Just dead things. <laughs> it's dead like my hopes and dreams, but let's not get into it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> So, snake. <laughs> What's a snake's name? Uh, what? what is your name? What do you talk to? What is <laughs> I don't know. Something. Chris? That Chris? sounds good. Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> it took me a second. The brain cells are not. As I say this, the snake looks at me with the goofiest expression you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> is it goofy as in it has a very strangely expressive face, or is this just pure danger noodle? expression picture the word snake s-n-e-k <laughs> with a dupe face like ah. <laughs> the overly optimistic overly talkative flying snake has to tell you everything about his life and everything he's ever done ever possibly but he has a split tongue and just like talks so much like that one girl who didn't even try for her speech Huh? All right, I'm warming up to the snake. Ah. So you know that perfect moment when you're at a restaurant and everyone is either in the middle of a conversation or stuffing their face and the waitress walks over? So snake shots? I think shots? I do now. Snake shots, snake, snake shots, snake shots. Ah. Margaret pops up just as you're all talking and whatnot. And she's carrying three uh, small satchels. Um, as she comes over, the, the smell of sweet meats wafts over the table. She's, she says, uh, I know you guys were hungry, and uh, let's be honest, that bread was really used for brewing and distilling more it was for eating. 
I uh, had one of the boys run out and grab you something from down the way. She lays them down on the table. Oh, Ma, you shouldn't have, but it, oh, thank you. Hey, it's why you pay me the barely perceptible salary. <laughs> You guys eat up, uh, she points at the master and looks like, looks like, uh, that one, that one could probably use a few bites. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. You find folks need anything else? Are you, you laughing at me? I'll, no, I'll dear. I'll your family. You laughing. <laughs> you being funny? Master, she's doing you a favor. Here, look. And Jimmy reaches into the bag and pulls out. What I imagine is just like some sweetened candied fruit or something. We don't even know they're gone. Uh, as you're saying that, Margaret actually walks over to you, leans down, and takes your hand, your face between her hands, gives you a little yeah. peck on the forehead, and pats you on the head, and sachets off. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss me on the head like I'm a baby. <laughs> Boy, if, if, it was, if everything weren't so blurry right now, I'd be really mad. Leah will chuckle and grab some of the meat. <laughs> oh, it's sweet meats. It's like candied stuff. Well, sweet meats. She takes yeah, yeah. some. <laughs> it's, uh, it's remarkably good. Remarkably good. Um... <laughs> She didn't say where it was from, but wherever it's from, and you probably want to get the name later. <laughs> uh, bless you, Pohan. He he he. Pohan's already nuzzling one of the satchels. Hmm. Jimmy Can you have flips sweets? it open. <laughs> Can I have sweets? <laughs> 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 this age, he can have whatever he wants. He probably it's knows what would hurt him more than I do. Expression of alarm. There's no chocolate in there, is it? <laughs> the joy of being an immortal food dog. <laughs> Understandable, I guess. Does Nil eat candy? You know, that last word was completely unnecessary, right? <laughs> Does Nil eat? Hmm. Depends on what I'm thinking about. Try and figure that out. <laughs> Does Nil eat? Good luck to you. <laughs> Well, if you don't, that's more for Pohan. Yeah. Stop <laughs> it. I know Draken can be tempted to sweets from time to time. I I can indulge my sweet tooth, yes. Hey, be for you here, good, good. Margaret. Hey, boss. Does does the golden boy want some hot sauce? He supplies his own on demand. <laughs> what you offering? What, what hot sauce you got? Let's see. Oh. Bell, bring out the smoking gun. <laughs> <laughs> Bell, you hear Bell go. <whistles> he pulls Stop out it. a uh, silver urn with like fumes okay. rising off of it. He kind of backs away and holds it out. Margaret comes over and grabs it and very gingerly carries it over while keeping it away from her face and uh, sets it in front of you, <laughs> pats you on the shoulder and says, knock yourself out, big guy. <laughs> Do I have reason to back up too? <laughs> you could, it's already making your eyes water just being that close to it. Lee is just going to turn her head off to the right. <laughs> yeah, Leah, you probably recognize the smell being a longtime resident. That is a Gehenna pepper. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I 
Now I have it on good authority. There's part of a maw demon in there. <laughs> uh, this should be entertaining. <laughs> what they got? I was eating food on the elemental plane of fire. I very much doubt there's much here that's gonna mess with more than that. <laughs> I don't know. I from the smell, I recognize what's in that stuff. <laughs> You gonna wolf it down there? I am gonna wave my hands over it, and I am going to cast press the digitation, change the flavor and everything, <laughs> and then I'm gonna eat it. You're just changing <laughs> the flavor. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast it. Press. Are you making it more or less spicy? <laughs> I am making it. Le I am. I'm making it taste like ice cream. <laughs> what? I am going you are to a child it. with it at heart. <laughs> what, what, what is your spell save, DC? Uh, <laughs> this moment... Now let's see if he has to... A 16. Okay. Now, that is a spell with a verbal and somatic component that I also happen to have. Do I recognize what he's doing? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Why not? Hmm. Leah just kind of squints her eyes, looks <laughs> over at Draken, and shakes his head as he attempts to cast on the sauce. All right. So he wolves it down. Give me a that's, con save. Oh, that, mm, that's worse than brain freeze. That's He's bad. chugging the hot sauce, and Jimmy's going, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. 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 His chewing slows. And you see him start blinking his eyes. Those those reptilian eyelids start. You know, I guess they go sideways. Start closing. You actually see tears kind of stream down his cheeks a little, and then his cheeks kind of blow out, and he exhales, and like this little tuft of flame comes out, and then he farts really loud. <laughs> And he's like, whew. You take a point of damage. <laughs> Leah just kind of chuckled to herself. A little bit smug and satisfactorily. <laughs> Gehen and peppers. <laughs> you know we had to get a dustpan for the last guy. <laughs> he actually did really well. <laughs> Uh, what can I say? The insides are fire resistant as well. <laughs> that, that's alright. The damage was on the backside. <laughs> I'm not used to blowing fire out that end. <laughs> oh my god. Hopefully your beer was better than the peppers. <laughs> the peppers are just to give people to do, you know? There's not even any food to put the hot sauce on. It's just people come in, they get a little toasted. Some of them from the hells every now and then. They want to show off to their friends. Some of them not from the hells. They want to show off and they're a little more foolish. They get toasted Good thing as well. to have around. <laughs> Different type of toasted. <laughs> Different type of toasted. We keep the we keep the dustpan on the wall right by the little urn. <laughs> Jimmy's leaning back in his chair. Tilted down a little again, almost looks like he's ready to nod back off. <laughs> it 
Feels good. Feels good. Can't be getting a big head these days. Everybody's getting a good relaxation in. Calming down. No demonic mules or weird fish-faced people threatening you. It's kind of nice. Yeah, for now, but how long is this going to last? Yeah, take what you can get. I guess so. Jimmy does hold up a shot glass at this point, he says. May it give us strength in trying times. Tosses it back. Gohan grabs a shot, shoots it back. <laughs> Water. Fair and righteous choice. So suddenly, mm -hmm. Pawn kind of snaps sober. And looks across the table at you, Jimmy. Uh, you, you've known him long enough to know that he's probably just been playing along this whole time. He doesn't really get drunk. <laughs> Not if he doesn't want to. But he will take advantage of people thinking he is to get scritches. <laughs> <laughs> um, he looks at you and he says, So Jimmy, in all seriousness... What are you going to do about this? this? This sounds like something we haven't come up against before. This sounds like... This sounds like a real threat. Mm. Well... I don't know what old Fishface is looking for here in the city, apart from power. Gods only know how many other of these people are looking for that same thing. When we cut those deals, he got what he got out of us. I imagine that a creature of that reputation has a sensible goal in mind. I think we're going to have to play along for now. We do not have the strength direct to directly resist. I think our earlier escapades have demonstrated that. But we need info. We need to keep fish face pleased. At least as pleased as something like that can be without eating us alive. Ideally need to figure out what on earth just went down with Falls from Grace and Odachan. That was that was a well, I would say catastrophe, but it's Really part of the course. Uh, yeah. You know, for as sneaky as you can be, Jimmy, you're not always the most subtle of people. No. No, if I'm subtle, how can they ever see my smile? <laughs> Fair play. Nah, we need to figure out what on earth went down there. I'm glad to be out of it, but... I'm not glad to not know why. So, well, you, those are the orders of business as I see them. You said you went to a place that looked like home, right? Yep, that's old Fishface's territory. I think he dresses it up for whoever turns up. Now, I know the story of the place you call home. Can't say yeah. I ever had the pleasure of visiting before the gates got shut. But, uh... Why don't you tell us again for Leah's sake, Nils, why that's an impossibility? Oh, uh, yeah. Nil, did you ever hear the the full tale? Here? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Here. Jimmy waves his hand at the otherwise empty bar. Yeah. I heard. Right. This one wouldn't shut up about it. It was sort of a big deal to us.
out of character I say that I hear about it, but I actually read the master's mind and saw everything that happened. So <laughs> I don't really need to hear it. <laughs> but yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, let's yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just being nice. <sighs> Leah, I'd hate to bore you, but I also love to brag, and my stories are pretty good. <laughs> I get up and stand behind Jimmy. Uh, well, it, it would certainly help me and give me a lot more context to what's going on here. All right, all right. Well, Mill accepted. Our bunch is uh, out-of-towners, primes, you know. Half the people wandering around this place, but uh, we'd have a damn hard time visiting if we wanted to go back. And Jimmy begins top to bottom, as he's done in the past. Drake and I imagine assisting. You know it, there are shadow puppets. (laughs) Shadow puppets. Jimmy Hence does the, the voices. <laughs> uh, we run the gamut. He tells you how the drinks are named after our various escapades. Uh, the, the fun, the danger, the sadness. And now the isolation from our home plane. From everything we once thought of as the world. Let's see how well of a job Jimmy's doing. Let me go grab my correct roll. He ain't doing bad. (laughs) (laughs) No, no. That looks solid. He's told this one a couple of times before, and you'd be surprised how good his impressions are. That actor feat really pays off. (laughs) You almost feel like you've met Stapleton, the dignity, the stature of the man. You cringe at the villains that beset them. Uh, You thrill as... Draken and Phoebe both blast a shadow dragon from the sky. You can almost feel the weight of the planes press in around you as you're teleported to Sigil, punched through as the gates close behind. As you're telling the story, Leah is like leaning in on her hands with a devilish smile on her face like she can't get enough of the tale that you're telling. And as you finish with the story of how y'all punched a hole through to Sigil, she's like, so in the end, Karen's crystal spear was closed off and sealed off. So no one can teleport to it at all anymore. I spent months asking around when I first landed here. There is no getting in. There is no getting out. Huh. Far as we know, we're all that's left. Half dead man. Somebody who will vanish if you blink too long. Uh... A Drake with quite uh, quite the head on the wall, I would say. It's a shame we couldn't bring that shadow dragon, actually. Uh, that would be quite the conversation starter. We'd put it up over the fireplace. God, Drake, and we missed out. Right. That's Not it. often you hear about a realm's crystal sphere being sealed off like that. <laughs> Even for all the smaller ones that aren't as widely known as some of the others in the multiverse. Interesting. I'm telling you. 
I, I saw it. This was shortly before I went dead. They brought down... Uh, I, I don't want to know how the plane's looking now. I, I can figure running from that. Maybe even if you are a god. So the gods just abandoned your realm, you say? Ah, hells have I know. I never had much time for them, really. Uh, that's the word I've gotten, but who knows why they do these things. And around here especially, you'd have a hard time tracking them down to ask. Leah just kind of rolls her eyes whenever you say that as far as you know, the gods abandoned uh, your old realm. <laughs> and just kind of subtly shakes her head. How's, uh, yeah. how's Master holding up after reliving all this through Jimmy's tale? <laughs> I know you, Master still had a lot of emotional baggage there. Hi, Jude. I'm just staring into the bottom of the empty shot glass, wondering when it's all gonna end. You know, how many mistakes am I gonna have to make? How much regret is my life going to be filled with, you know? Is there a tipping point? Is there a lip at all? Master, Jimmy tells his tale with a great deal of catharsis in it. He's taken time to insert sort of narrative feeling and emotional payoffs. Also, that's a 27. I would like you <laughs> to feel better, even if it's only a little. What's the save for that? Let's go with wisdom. I don't know if that looks good. Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. It's hard to hold up to Jimmy's personality. Against every facet of my personality traits, let's <laughs> go with this. It's not going to fix you. People can't be fixed, but you might feel just for a moment, just here in your cups, a little relief rather than a bit of more tragedy piled on. Unless somebody starts toasting Queen Bridget, you'll be fine. We don't do that here. <laughs> knew that my good vibes will be used against me. <laughs> that didn't happen. That was out of character. <laughs> That's just DM messing with you. <laughs> just, just you wait. Watch, you know. If I could tell you the number of times the, the good things in my life have been marionetted before my eyes used to, to spite me, I could... I could write in novels with the sheer volume of the moments. Do you think that almond milk was the first time this happened to me? No. Jimmy puts on his listening face. I'm not to get into it, but I guess it's just as good that I have good moments to, for this to happen. It's really all we're living for. Just play a small game of flip cup with myself with the shot glasses. It's fine. <laughs> Jimmy pulls out another sweet meat. Takes a nice hearty bite out of some Turkish delight, I'm going to say. All right. We've tied enough of one on. Even I'm feeling a little better. And 
I really, really hate to say it this time, but there's still business to conduct. What time is it? Fair price. Do you guys need to take your union break? Might be a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in favor of the union break. <laughs> All right, we actually went pretty long without one, so. Fair, fair enough. Yeah, we will be right back after these messages, if there are any, perhaps. <laughs> we'll right they would back. be from the beyond. This is true. <laughs> we'll be right back. Here we go. Boom. Oh, you're looking at my tattoo. There. <laughs> I'll just be over here casually juggling empty shot glasses. <laughs> it don't mind my Facebook there. <laughs> here, let me... Uh... Swap it back over. <laughs> oh wow! It it actually it, it's trying to lock in. I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, where'd it go? Luckily, there's nothing too incriminating on there. I hope. <laughs> there it is. Weird. Well, here, let me just do this. Anyway, carry on with your, your speech uh, while I get the map back up for us. <laughs> All right. Then Jimmy was just uh, in the midst of suggesting that the hour had grown late and we still had a little business to conduct, so we may wish to repair back to the office. There we go. Fair enough. Should be getting close to around Anti Peak right now. Be best to head in. Yeah. Get anti what? <laughs> anti Peak. And she just sort of like tilts her head and kind of raises her eyebrow. What's the. Uh, what's. Well, what this do. Is a stupid question. We... Anti Peak. What do primes call it? Uh, I think. Midnight. Yes. We still think in terms of midnight. Yeah, anti pick is midnight. Is that P I Q U E? Or. P E A K. Ah, my spelling. Once again, leave something to be desired. Okay. Just writing that down for later. Very good. So, almost as if psychically sensing your desire to leave. <laughs> Margaret sashays over to the table. Says, "Well, boss, uh, you guys getting ready to head out?" The time has come. The repairs have been checked. The new brews have been sampled. We're all feeling a touch better. Oh, well, why don't you, before you go? Uh, go talk to Aang. She actually had something she said she wanted to run by you before you left. All right, I'll go see you. Uh, and, uh, I'll just, I'll leave the bill with Pohan as usual. Yeah, he knows how to write me up. Pohan, you got it? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure thing, Jimmy. I got this. Jimmy, uh, right. as Jimmy gets up, Pohan rolls around to where Margaret is, rolls over on his back, and she starts scratching his belly. 
They have an arrangement. It works out very well for everyone. And Jimmy strolls to the back room. Alright. Stops off to wash the hands. Uh, as you pass the vats, you notice Pat, that too, actually has a goblin floating face down in it. Ah, God damn. We're going to need a second <laughs> barrel <laughs> for the special at this rate. It is pretty popular. Uh, he makes his way around to the back. All right. All right, you find Anguish. She is in the back. Uh-oh, is the master going stealthy? Um, she, she catches you. She waves you down with her clipboard. She says, look, uh, boss, I, I've got uh, two micro kegs of a new brews I'm testing. Do you think you could take them home and improve them? Try them out a little? Oh, but of course, but of course. The special is very strong this evening, by the way. It's got a, it's got a certain kick to it. Yeah, we've, we've had a... a uh, <laughs> Uh, we've had a bad month for, for accidents at least mm -hmm. last bit of time. A anyway, uh, I'll I'll have one of the boys bring him around. You don't have to carry him with you. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it was okay. I know you don't like having strange knocks on the door at weird hours. I'll keep an eye out for these, Ange. Don't you worry. Just uh, look, the, the, the first one is... Uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty standard. It's for our more uh, discerning customers. The uh, second one, you're going to want to make sure you're in a private room for. Uh, more in the line of the... Uh, let's just say that uh, the goblin I tested it on is still out back. There's actually a mushroom growing on him. He's been sitting there for a while. I'll keep it in mind. Yeah. I'll keep it in mind. Keep up the good work. Yeah, of course, boss. Of course. No worries. Business conducted. Jimmy makes his way back out. All right. Waves to Bell and Marge on the way out. Hopefully everybody... Picks up and is ready to go. All right. Well, if there are no uh, people willing to do otherwise, I assume we all pick up and go. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. In that case, the walk back once again is uneventful. Back we go to. HQ. Uh, you make your way in. You go upstairs into the uh, the office. <laughs> Kong's still out cold. He's rolled over a couple times. Beyond that, he hasn't really moved. Jimmy hangs his coat, pops the hat up over it, rests against his desk. Well, let's see if we can sort out our last few orders. Might try sleeping again. That'd be nice. Uh... Drake and you and me first. Let's uh, have a little chat in private. Yeah. Uh, everybody else, stay, go. If you got more business, all up to you. Nil, master, I ain't going to make you stick around, but you're welcome to. Jimmy just assumes that you're around, but let's see if he can see you. 
and say, he does know you pretty well at this point. <laughs> Wait, the office is a one-room building? Or a one-room? Uh, Just like... The upstairs office is... No, the upstairs office isn't. All right. Jimmy cannot see you. He's speaking in the wrong direction, but you would still hear him. He can see no. Yeah. I'm ahead for the door. Both of you are just the one. Just the one. Okay. Yeah, uh, Leah will head out of Jimmy's office too and into the main room upstairs. Okay. Jimmy rests more heavily. What you thinking, big guy? I, I I think so. I think our big problem right now is is the deal maker. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. And I I I'm gonna be honest with you, Jimmy. Okay, okay, we have a we need people that know more information than us. With you on that one. We got nothing. We're as in the dark as we've ever been. And this is a figure that seems to have his hands in a lot of pies here in Sigil. Mm -hmm. I think the best place to find information that might help us isn't in Sigil. Might be a damn sight safer out there as well. Anything that's powerful here tends to have a harder time reaching out, just like things outside have a hard time reaching in. Also, if he wants to hide information about itself, somewhere that is not in his grasp might be easier to find it. Possibly. What? Where are you thinking? As you know, after we, we got separated, I was on the plane of fire. Mm -hmm. There are some old things hanging around there. City of Brass is quite a big place as well. It's an idea, but you know, it doesn't agree with my complexion. I go all crisp. I know. This might be, uh, this might be just me. I lose them all. The... Jimmy shakes his head for a second. He says, no, 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 you, you're right. Sigil's good. You can get everything here, but... Maybe not that. Maybe maybe it's better outside there. Also, you 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 know me better than most, Jimmy. I'm not nearly as stupid as I like to pretend. I, you know that. <laughs> I know it's all a front. It's the performance. You don't have to explain that to me. The master can disappear at well. Can't do that, but, and he tips his hat. I can blend in with a crowd real well. Oh, definitely. If I do this, you need me, you call. I will come. I know you will, Draken. I know you will. I hate to see you go, but you got a good idea. And I mean, I saved you guys once. I'll be back to save you guys again. <laughs> kind of what I, don't I do. Think there's anybody else that could do the job. You're the closest thing to a god they'll let into this place. I think I might have to talk to a real one. Got to be careful what I say, though. Last time I, I, I admitted that I didn't know everything, I had a heart attack. <laughs> I hope the heat will do you some good. You got to recover from that. 
Well, as, as I always say, just believe in fate. You ask nicely, you should do what you want. I'll try. I'll try, Draken. Not sure they listen to dead men these days, but take a shot at it. You're with me. He'll listen to you. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy gets up and he clasps your arm in the Roman fashion. Draken pulls you in for a hug. Oh, Jimmy hugs. He's, he's a good ways down. He's not the tallest fellow, but that's fine. You're used to it. You keep safe. You keep Master safe. You keep Kong safe. Keep and him under lock and key if I got it. All right. Draken, I'll even check on Freya, too. If you can swing by, let me know how she's doing. I'm worried. I want to warn her, too, yeah. Yeah. We'll get out from under this one. There, There is one other thing, though, before I go. Tell me. Nil. There's some stuff hmm. I've seen that, that, that have got me a little concerned. Keep your eye on her. Oh. There, there are some actions that don't make sense. I'll keep a sharp one on her. You know, she's... She's done us well so far. But... You know, we're all a little weird for hanging around with Master. You can only imagine what she's like. Eh, but... With the hat, remember how the personality and everything seemed to change? That's not how it works. Oh. She didn't strike me as an actor. I can usually recognize the type. Yeah, that's what. Keep an eye. Be careful. I'll keep an eye on. And if you need me, I'm sure Pohan can find me somehow. He's reliable like that. I'll reach out the moment there's something we can burn or there's some ones we got to charm. <laughs> you keep safe out there. You're going without a lot of backup. I know it's, it's a little bit home territory for you, but there's a lot of big nasties out in the plane of fire. I know. And to be honest, I'm probably going to have to talk to quite a few of them. I figure if there's anything that is powerful enough to be able to have information on this and old enough. I'm looking at a dragon. <laughs> oh, well, we know you can handle those. Why was I even worried? Hopefully. You got that sorted. <laughs> I'll stick to the gold and the brass. Hopefully that'll work out better. A good match with my face. Yeah. You meet them, show off the glitter, I'll show they'll warm right up to you. Exactly. Next thing you know, I'll come back with a bunch of dragons behind me. It'll be awesome. Oh, wouldn't we be a sight then? Might finally get some peace in this city. Can't be boring. <laughs> All, right. All right, Jimmy. I will... I will let you talk to the others. Uh, I, I'm going to head out, sir. Go well, friend. It's been a pleasure as always. Indeed. Until the next I time. I will see you again. And you see him puff up his chest, as always, and seem to, like, throw his shoulders back as he walks to the door. I'll be back when I'm ready to save you all. <laughs> I look forward to it. And I stride from the room and go to leave the ha uh, leave the building. Always got that good posture. Breaking out! <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. Well. <laughs> Downstairs. Jimmy walks back out 
of the office to see who stuck around. I follow you. Invisible. Poof. He looks round. See me, so I stuck around. Looks round. Yeah. Maybe I will get some sleep. He starts making his way back from the downstairs main room to the office. I take it there was no sign of Leah in the building. No, Leah was upstairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was looking at that. I was wondering where you were. No, like Leah, Nil, and Master were upstairs. No, no, Nil no, no, left. No. No. Master vanished. No. Never mind. No. Yeah, Leah was upstairs. Yeah, Leah did I say she was upstairs. upstairs. I stayed in the room as Master for sure. Nil was the only one who left out of that room. On yeah. purpose. Yes, but oh, you're okay. big sneaky, so Jimmy doesn't know. Yeah, that's the point. But also, out of character, the Master's been here since the beginning. Like,. I'm not going to be ushered downstairs like everybody else who just got here. <laughs> As is only your right and privilege. Classic master. Yeah, so you can't see me anyway. I mean, whatever. There's one person that can see you. True. Bohan knows you're there. Yeah. <laughs> He's just one of those critters you can't hide from. Fair enough. Uh, that's the point. That's much like my problems. <laughs> Jimmy has walked around and he spots Leah in the outside of the office. Just yeah, outside the office. All, all right. We should probably have a little chat ourselves, don't you think? Well. What is it that we would need to chat about, Jimmy? I, I must admit, I'm very curious about your uh, working relationship. I've only just met your employer a little while ago, and I could stand to know a little more. Much as your help has been, like, invaluable, uh, probably can't pay you back for bringing Draken back. Honestly, Jimmy, I haven't even met her myself. Hmm. It just kind of happened one day that I got asked to do a favor for someone, and it was just, you know, a simple run-of-the-mill favor, nothing all that serious. And um, then whenever I completed that, uh, I was asked to do another favor, and then another favor. And before I knew it, I was caught up in some tangled web of favors, and then soon it became apparent who I was actually working for. So I sort of got under the employ of the ghost without even seeing her or even consenting to it, Jimmy. I, and... I've spoken to a few others who are like me as well. Hmm. You know, now you mention it, the one who pointed me to the ghost in the first place did have a sudden and brutal demise not too long afterwards. Yeah, I did. None of us know what she's capable of. I'm afraid of her. We all are. You don't know what she'd do, or how strong she is, or... Well, we all think she's very strong. That's why none of us want to get on her bad side, but now it's... I was asked here to fulfill a certain purpose. Asked to do a certain thing, and... Yeah, I wasn't even able to do that. So I'm afraid of having to go and face the ghost and say that I couldn't complete what was asked of me. She's expecting a certain payment and I didn't even perform that service. I just, I can't ask payment for a service that I didn't render Jimmy. I just, 
It's wrong, but I'm so scared. Hey, it's not all that bad. The, the job you were sent for failed to materialize, and you performed quite admirably at the job you were not sent for. Step in the office. I'll, I'll write you up something. Uh, I don't know exactly what the ghost expect you to render, but I am more than satisfied. I... Jimmy, I can't... I... And all of a sudden, she just stares blankly forward somewhere off into space. And Leah just says, I have to go. And then she darts into the office and says, I'm sorry, as she does. And then she disappears behind the door. Uh, I don't think she's going to make it out that window, honestly. And Jimmy steps up to walk through the door of the office, and redirect her. And as you step into the office... You hear the door slam, and behind the door stands the ghost, looking at you. Dun, dun, dun. Jimmy comes to a stop and then stays very still there for a moment. Looks around the office for Leah. She says, you have a talent for attracting all of Sigil's cryptids. Don't you, Jimmy? I do have a certain uh, affinity, you might say, for the spooks. You seem to be short an employee there. Don't believe there's another exit, seeing how much time I spend here. Oh. Hmm. She did do very well, and I wanted to assuage her fears on the matter. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You know who she is. What do you mean? Jimmy, you contracted my services to help you kill Otachan to get out from under Fall from Grace. Why? Now, as I'm understanding it, both are conveniently dead. Your crew is rattling their bone boxes about the angler, and you've got a demonic donkey showing up at your back door. And she is going to draw her dagger from her side, step forward, and then with the flat side of her dagger, lift your chin up to where your eyes meet hers. And she's going to say, is this some kind of a sick joke? Because it's not amusing. And right here, Right now, you're going to give me the dark of what's going on. I guess I'll just go back downstairs then, since we've already slammed doors in my face. We don't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't see you either. No spooky elf is at all. Fine. It's like I just this is when Draken walks in. I forgot my hat. <laughs> hey! Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy is rendered slightly more sanguine by the special brew, so he doesn't react incredibly strongly to the dagger. He does, he brings up a finger and he kind of puts the finger up under his chin to redirect the point away. So just gently kind of Bugs Bunny pointing the shotgun off to the side. Allow me, please. She resheathes her dagger, still glaring at you, but takes a seat, not in the chair, but on the edge of the desk, and is looking down at you expectantly. When we spoke, I and all my friends were in an unbelievably tight bind. And I asked you for exactly what I needed. Now, by the time I even made it home, 
the situation had changed drastically. I did not expect or even really understand what the angler was, what the angler was going to do. I still don't know if he is what mulched Fall from Grace and Autochon. If so, I may have to revise my opinion of him somewhat. Because, you know, you look at it from a certain angle, that looks like a favor. But, now, if anything, we are in a worse bind. Uh. <laughs> You've heard the story. We've, uh... We've been around the block, even if it's not been here in Sigil. And we're going to get out of this one, too. You have been around the block, but how did you even get involved with the angler in the first place? Ah, uh, this... Weird dude. Guess he's in the same line of work. Uh... Nilios, I think he said his name was... He was down in our uh, special secret hiding spot, which is to say somebody had blown a hole down into the sewers and we'd stashed something down there. He was lifting it. We needed that. We chased him and he had thrown open a portal out of the city. At least that's what I thought he had done. We chased him on through and there we were. In the Angler's Den. Uh, it's a one-way trip unless you bargain your way back out. So we did. Learning a little bit more now about his business, I can't help but think that this was engineered somehow. Yeah, undoubtedly. But... If you are indeed telling the truth, and you better be, then you have assuaged my own suspicions that you brought me here and tried to swindle me and put oh. me in danger. Come now, look at this face. Isn't this an honest face? And he smiles. <laughs> I've seen the absolute depths of mortal depravity, Jimmy. You are not the first charismatic figure that I have seen who will go back on their supposed morals, nor would you be the last. Well, I see a lot in my own line of work. It's a good thing that I am not, strictly speaking, mortal. <laughs> You're an interesting one, Jimmy the Mal. You and all of your crew. When you're in my line of work, my clients, they come to me seeking help and guidance for whatever issues may be plaguing their life. Desperation drives many a body to do things that are ill-advised, even when instinct would normally inform them that something is dangerous. And... In my line of work, I've come to see that mortals, they're all the same. Once you get right down to it, at the very heart of it, and their stories become predictable and boring. But you and your crew are different and interesting and new, especially from what I've heard of your lot's stories through my associate, you should call her. Uh, must admit, I did not uh, catch the time where you were reporting in, but uh, yes, I suppose you've had it straight from the horse's mouth. One of my finer performances, really. What do you mean? You know it's her. <laughs> Out of character. Master, she has reviewed the VOD to assure me that I do not. What? How? Okay, okay, no. Okay. Straight, straight from the donkey's Sorry. mouth. 
Sorry. <laughs> I just I vividly remember her saying the the ghost reveals herself to whom she wishes. But okay, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I did say that to Jimmy, but don't, that does don't, not don't indicate okay. anything. <laughs> okay. Let her have Fine. this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. I'll just be down here talking to myself. The master's just drunk downstairs <laughs> talking to himself. <laughs> Nils down there too. In the shadows. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. I have plans. Oh. You see. If you want to be your free and clear ghost, I'll pay you for services rendered. I'm not sure I can put a price on Draken's life, but we'll find one if you want. Uh, <laughs> if you care to hang around and see how our story unfolds. Uh, I could use some help staying one kind of corpse instead of two. You drive a hard bargain, Jimmy the Mouth, but I think I will stick around. Your bunch are interesting, and it's not often that I get to encounter people who legitimately actually need some sort of help. And while wouldn't ordinarily put myself in this sort of danger. Even I know not to cross the angler, but you're just too fascinating not to hang around and see how all of this plays out. We do have that effect on people sometimes. <sighs> <laughs> well. I don't know if it's really your style but you have an open invitation swing by when you want you'll see me around jimmy and even when i'm not just know that i'm always watching <laughs> and she reaches out her hand and just starts to caress jimmy's jawline and chin tilts it up to meet her face, smirks, and then you see her go invisible. Poof. And walk out the office, in as far as you can tell. Poof. Ninja vanish. Everybody, likes, everybody wants to touch me lately. It's like, I smell good today. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Phoebe's special blend. It has a, a side effect. Gods, <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm tired. One last pass. Looking at Zill. We're going to take another shot at a nap. <laughs> Uh, so Jimmy's going to make a loop of the house, make sure everything's sound, maybe lock up the front. If Master's up to any shenanigans, now would be the time. Oh, I'm not up to anything at all. Neither of me. That's very reassuring, you know. But if you happen to pass whatever room in this house has a couch. The master is sitting on one end. Neil is sitting on the other. They're facing away from each other. Eyes closed. Heads slightly bowed. And they're holding hands behind their back with a slight smile on their face. Jimmy passes by. He almost misses you. He looks back. He looks down like he's contemplating. No, not today. He <laughs> leaves you be. I'm not going to worry about that today. So is Jimmy heading up to his room? He's heading up to his room. We're going to see if the special brew will carry him off. All right. So Pohan follows you up to your room. Uh, you lay down. 
Pohan climbs up onto the foot of the bed, lays down. You actually feel like the whole bed kind of sink to where you're actually like a little bit at an angle now. Uh, close your eyes, start to drift. And suddenly you hear <laughs> and Pohan just kind of rolls over and shifts a little bit. And the smell was probably going to keep you up for the rest of the night. <laughs> I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> right. I'm dedicated to the cause. <laughs> let's, let's, let's give it a check. What would this be uh, to endure survival? Let's do a survival roll. <laughs> Can I use my advantage against disease and poison? This is important lore because you don't breathe. How do you smell? I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. That's right. I can just stop breathing. I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I additionally stop breathing. <laughs> I'll give you an to advantage. To prevent the smell. I'll give you a full advantage. <laughs> there you go. 17. Yeah, you just stop breathing. You're like, ah, oh, God. <sighs> Comes in handy sometimes. You go corpse rigid and kind of sleep the sleep of death. <laughs> in this great darkness, there are no dreams, but there is peace. There is peace. And there is Pohan. <laughs> They're very similar. Well, does anyone else have anything else they need to do before we close? I think we're kind of getting that wrap up point. Master, do you have anything you needed to do? Uh, well, I guess if everybody in the house is going to sleep, the master is going into the elvish, like four hour yada yada trancing. And Nell's doing whatever Nell does. All right. Might be sleeping, might be uh, light activity, yada yada. All right. So everyone goes into their perspective sleep modes, we'll call it. Uh, the, the night will pass uneventfully, dreamlessly for some, dream filled for others. Those of you who drank and do dream, uh, your dreams are remarkably vivid. Uh, not unpleasant, just very vivid. Um, and of course, in the morning, there will be two micro kegs waiting for you. But beyond that, oh my. I think here we can call it a wrap. <laughs> Unless anyone has any objections. Just I'm with one, it, man. I'm just one hmm? real sorry. I was wrong. Whoopsie. No. You're wrong. You're good. You're good. I was also wrong, and I was there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was convinced that she had told Jimmy that she was going to arrive with a different face when they met in the alleyway, and you know she kind of played the vod back. It was not the case. Yeah, Just don't worry about that. It was an out of character comment from the peanut gallery, so it's just like Jimmy would not have heard that in character. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Prim, Prim's got this really well planned. She's she's thrown some things at me, so I, I'll back her up on this one for sure. <laughs> but anyway, we, we will go ahead and close out the stream for the night. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us either now or in the future or in the past. This has been Sigil Confidential. We'll see you again in two weeks. Good night, everyone. Good night. No. And good luck. <laughs>